Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Shaman's Kitchen. I hope everyone had a wonderful day today. We have a birthday celebration and I'll be making a cake that the birthday person will enjoy. And this is no other but a pumpkin cake. So come on down, let me show you how we do this. So I have a nice ripe butternut squash or pumpkin. I'm gonna use this for my cake and I will go in and cut it in half like this so I can have a piece from the top, the middle and the bottom for this cake. And this is a very nice one as you can see. I'm just gonna scoop up the inside with the seed. Let's do this. Very easy to take out. I wanna get out all the strings as well. So go a little bit deep that we can get all that string out. You can use the seeds to toast up and have a snack or you can toss them if you like. I'm gonna go in with my peeler and I will peel this. This is the easiest way to peel a butternut squash because when using a knife, it is very tough to peel. Hubby taught me to peel a butternut squash like this and ever since, I stopped struggling with a knife. So just like that, we're gonna chunk up the butternut squash like that. Like this, or you can go a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna steam the butternut squash because I wanna get out some of that rawness from it. I'm gonna put it in here, I have some water in the pot. I'm gonna cover it down and soften the butternut squash for a bit and then we'll come back and move to the next step. So now we're checking on our pumpkin or butternut squash and you wanna cook it until it is nice and soft and tender like this. So we are ready to move on to the next step now. With one cup of water, I will puree my pumpkin nice and smooth for this cake. So let's put everything together now that I have my flour, I have my pureed pumpkin and I keep some in the measuring cup so I can show you how smoothly I puree the pumpkin. You can also use canned pumpkin for this, but I like to use my own things. I have here some coconut oil, which will give us a nice coconut flavor in that cake. But you can also use vegetable oil or some light olive oil. I have here some eggs, brown sugar, white sugar can work for this recipe as well. Cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, and some mixed essence. So first of all, we're gonna start with our wet ingredients. And I want to show you how nicely the pumpkin puree is done. We're going to add our oil. And let's combine our wet ingredients. Just before I add the eggs, I'm just whisking it up a little. I'm going to add it in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar into the wet ingredients because the brown sugar is a little bit coarse, so it will melt nicely into the wet ingredients. So in goes my mixed essence. You can add any essence of your choice. I'm gonna give this a little mix, maybe with the whisk. Going in for the dried ingredients, I already add my cinnamon. I'm gonna go in with my baking powder, baking soda, and then we'll mix, dry it together. And now we're gonna combine the two, wet and dried. 
there you go. We're gonna quickly brush our pan with some coconut oil so we're keeping all the flavors together. I wanna make sure that the sides are fully covered before we put our batter in here. So batter is going into the cake pan and this is a nice, beautiful batter. All natural colors from the pumpkin and our oven is ready just about the right time. About 35 to 40 minutes. I will see you guys back when the cake is done. So 35 minutes to the exact, our pumpkin cake is done. I have to really let it sit and cool before I add my delicious cream cheese frosting on this to make it even more spectacular so this is time for us to add our beautiful frosting to the cake and look at this cake how nice and soft so nice and soft it is so for the frosting I have in my mixing bowl some cream cheese softened butter and powdered sugar I'm gonna go in with a little bit of almond essence you can add any essence of your choice I want to keep the frosting nice and white so that's why I'm adding the almond essence and because I have coconut in my cake it's gonna have a beautiful naughty flavor we're gonna give our frosting a nice mix until it is fluffy and ready for us to put on the cake our frosting is nice and light look at that it's gonna make a beautiful beautiful topping for this cake so i'm gonna go ahead and i will roughly put this onto the cake We're not looking for anything in particular just a rough nice way we're gonna spread this out looks pretty the frosting look very nice cheesecake frosting that is really gonna enjoy this homemade everything because anybody who know my husband he always enjoy a homemade cake better than a store-bought cake so this will be something that he will like because me and natalie hands are in here right yeah look at my icing the kids love it i like this rough way of doing it and because the cake is all white now we're gonna add some cherries there but i have to decide should i put a heart or put that dad put dad yep yeah. so we're gonna do dad because it's daddy's birthday and i think you should put it a little bit more on the left no i have to do the d over that side remember oh yeah so i have to do this and then it's gonna be a nice design with our fresh cherries for dad on his birthday and we can put the candle in the middle this is cool good idea you see many heads come up with more ideas does it look like a deer i need one more thing can you need to put the bottom a little bit more down like this yeah and one more here maybe or oh, that's fine that's fine yeah and then we can put the rest of the cherries around the ends so when we cut it everybody can have a cherry in their slice of cake what do you think yeah so this here is a teamwork right here do you think that is gonna like it yeah I think he's gonna like it too because he likes cheesecake and pumpkin he's not gonna mm -hmm. like it he's gonna love it <laughs> so how about you guys are you guys gonna like it yeah very I love pretty. cheesecake that's cheesecake frosting so here is the cake the pumpkin cake that we made cream cheese frosting the cake is beautifully done nice and moist guys let me hear your review in the background it's really good the cream cream frosting cheese. tastes exactly like cream cheese yes it is it's like an easier cream cheese right no, the kids said this is the most delicious it's the most delicious cake in the whole world healthy the most delicious healthy cream cheese cake 
healthy cream cheesecake look at that and Jessica said it tastes like fall with the pumpkin in it so I'm gonna taste a nice big bite for you all let me go right in and the first mouthful look how moist it is goes to the viewers Oh my god. How does it taste? Mm -mm. It is so smooth in the inside, right? Yeah. Very, very smooth. Wow. Not too sweet. Look at that. Rich, decadent, and so creamy. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. It really tastes like fall. And that frosting complements complement this cake so well. This is not a sweet cake, and we have some cherries on top. Mm -mm -mm. I can't stop eating this cake. I hope you will give it a try. If you never had pumpkin cake before, please, you will not regret this. Please give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet. I hope you will consider subscribing soon. Cheers.